buddy Tommy. Let's get on the road. Love me when I'm This freaking sucks. I'm on the, uh, or I'm not even on the Bay Bridge yet, but I'm getting ready to be on the Bay Bridge, and the freaking traffic is horrendous. I mean, look at how slow we're going right now. It goes all the way up to the top of the bridge there. Um, so I'm sitting here in the parking lot of a good old Walmart. Just cooked myself a nice steak for dinner uh, while I'm watching The Office. And this is what I'm gonna call, this is where I'm gonna call home for the night. Here we are and tonight is the night that we are gonna try this. Uh, so, I, so I can be up early tomorrow morning, have breakfast, and then get to my buddy's house. Alright, well, good morning. Oh, for the first test run of this setup, uh, it was pretty good, I guess. I don't know. I'm still tired, but I think I think it went well for the first run. Hello, Roo Roo. Hello, Roo. Uh, for the first time sleeping in a Walmart parking lot, I would get out and go for a run, but I'm just tired and cold. So yeah, I'm gonna try to get dressed and cook some breakfast. Got uh, some eggs, sausage, and bacon. I'm gonna cook some tiny cast iron. I'm from paint stove in the Walmart parking lot. Uh, I want to say it's about six o'clock or seven o'clock. Look at all that fog over there. That is that is something else. I love fog. That's a whole I think a bean field. I don't think it's a cornfield. But man, I'd say. I said camping in the Walmart parking lot. Eh, it's all right. Little Ruru already had her breakfast. And she she done devoured it. I'm not even done cooking mine yet. Couldn't wait for me. How rude. Alrighty, so I'm gonna sit here and eat my lovely breakfast. My pup next to me uh, while I watch me a few episodes of The Office uh, and just enjoy my morning. So I guess it's as good as time as any to do a overland setup on how I have my 03 Dodge Ram. Alrighty, so starting off on the passenger side of the truck, what we have here is my bed, where I sleep at. Uh, and as last night was freaking comfortable as all get out. I had no, no issues besides maybe wanting another blanket because uh, it got it got cold a little bit basically what this bed is it's a piece of wood that is mounted onto my old uh, seats frame which is slides uh, it's it and then it's a cot mat a Cabela's cot mat which is super comfortable then it's a Coleman I think it's a below 30 or below zero sleeping bag I'm not quite sure yet because it's like really old and then I have a spare blanket just to sleep with since it's it's still pretty warm out. It's still September. And as you can see, the sun is shining on me and I'm burning up in this hoodie. So I really don't need the, the blanket, but I just enjoy having it just so I can don't, don't have to sleep inside the, the sleeping bag. Underneath my bed 
is everything that I need to do the uh, videos with uh, my laptop underneath the, the shoes, a keyboard, a mouse, a headset to edit with, and then my boots and my running shoes. Usually also my moccasins are down here, but I drive with those, so I'm constantly wearing them. And then moving on to the passenger door, I have some off spray because the bugs here in uh, Salisbury where I'm at currently and, and Asti Island is horrible. And inside there I have poos or not poos, bruise leash, some lighters, some matches, uh, and then some spare tools like tire gauge, um, tire deflator. And then moving over here, I have some sp spare cables for charging the phones, GoPro, camera and the beats uh, aux cord some paper to write on if I have anything I need to write down extra uh, charge blocks that's basically it for the door on the center center seat center console this is, this is a center seat so if I need to ride any, with anybody or take anybody anywhere since I don't have a passenger seat they can sit in the center seat which just folds up like so, has its own seat belt, and then the cup holders fold up as well. Inside, I just have my wallet, some Mike and Nikes, uh, some sunglasses, just some uh, driving essentials uh, and such. I have about a 400 watt uh, power inverter, which I use to charge all my electronics. I don't have any big electronic uh, inverter or anything that charges like fridges or anything because I don't have any fridges yet so I just have this little 500 watt one which is great for I actually was watching Netflix and I fell asleep last night with my phone charging and didn't kill my battery so I'm really happy with that and my phone's 100% so that's all good the driver's seat is basically a driver's seat nothing's changed on the driver's side door we have some playing cards, which actually aren't open yet. Uh, I've yet to play any cards with anybody. Uh, ice scraper, some Cam the Man stickers, uh, a tow hitch lock, some more knives to. This is actually my split knife. This is what I use to split small pieces of wood, to get uh, some thin pieces of wood to burn. Another lighter. And then the back seats. This, this is the spot that's really going to change because uh, I'm not going to be having a bag like this full of clothes all the time this whole trip. That's going to change a lot, especially that being there. That's a Coleman grill, Coleman uh, propane stove, and that is going to be into a cooking setup in the bed of the truck, not in here. I got a bag for when I go to camping spots that actually allow fires. I have a bag here that has a bunch of fire stuff in it that I can it can help me start fires. So I got some chips, you know, because I'm get I get a little hungry while I'm driving. And that bag is just full of clothes. There's nothing else in it really. Uh so spices and these this little Walmart spice rack thing. Which is alright. Some oil for cooking on the cast iron. Underneath the seat this is where I usually keep all my camera gear. Right here, I usually keep my my bipod. Right next to it has the GoPro gimbal, a GoPro stand for just to put up on a wall and have a time lapse go. Underneath the, the bed is tools, a shovel, just some things to get me by. That pink bag right there, it, yes, it's pink. Pink is the mainest color around, so screw you. Uh, it, it has all my toiletry needs, uh, brush to toothpaste, toothbrush, all that good stuff is in there. Behind the driver's seat where the clothes bag is, uh, obviously I have my Coleman grill. I have some cast iron. That's about, well, there's some more spices down there. Some spices and then the cleaning stuff I was talking about, about to clean like the uh, dash and just to keep it looking good. You know, I don't want to be driving a pile of crap. I got propane, I got dog food, and I got some uh, first aid essentials, alcohol if I cut myself. 
isopropylene alcohol, which I think is right back here. And that is a torque wrench in case I need to do engine work on my engine. Got an Xbox controller. You know, gaming is life even though you don't have an Xbox or TV in here. So underneath the driver's seat, I have two bags of tools uh, for the truck in case anything breaks. This one is full of electronic tools, uh, multimeter, test light, extra wire, sod, uh, propane torch, all for, um, well not propane torch, it's um, butane torch, all for soldering wire and making sure that if anything electrical breaks, I have the right stuff to do it. This is a OB2 scanner because this truck constantly gets check engine lights always on. That little light right there always comes on while I'm driving. And it's usually for an OBD, uh, O2, no, no, O2. It's usually for a EVAP system leak, which isn't all the gas can. It's a charcoal canister, and I just I haven't fixed it yet. Uh, and then I don't have the tools on me now, but I have another bag that is full of snap-on tools that I used in case I need to do spark plug, oil change, regular maintenance, tire rotation, brakes, I have all tools to do all that. Usually, it's that those tools are in this container, but right now, it's just holding dog food, some gloves, uh, her, her food bowl, some more spare starting wood, and wood shavings, I think that is. My food cooler. And my water coolers. So that concludes the first tour of the not so permanent setup on my 1500 Dodge Ram.